Hello everyone. The risk on switch was turned back on. Calm returned to the markets overnight as gold found a bottom, for now, and stocks recovered much of their losses. The headline U.S. CPI was well below expectations, which means that the Fed isn't going to be any rush to taper off quantitative easing. Also, U.S. housing starts far exceeded expectations. That helped to counter some of the doubts about the U.S. economy. Analysts are now pointing the finger at March's unusually cold weather as the possible reason for the recent string of weak economic data in the U.S. and are looking for the data to improve and boost the animal spirits as spring arrives. As risk-seeking came back, uh, the dollar once again fell against most currencies, the exception, of course, being the yen. In other words, it was the mirror image of Monday's market. The spotlight today is on central bank policy. No one's expecting any change in rates or in overall policy. Rather, the emphasis is going to be on the nuance of policy and what further clarity the central banks involved can bring to their stance. Uh, first off, Sweden's Riksbank already announced that it was keeping its rate unchanged. Although the news was generally expected, the chrono fell sharply on the news. Then the Bank of England uh, later today will release the minutes of its April 3rd and 4th Monetary Policy Committee meeting. Uh, this is the first under the MPC's new improved remit. The point to be watched there will be whether the MPC members interpret their new remit as giving them more leeway to ease. Finally, the Bank of Canada is expected to keep rates unchanged, so the key there will be whether they shed any more light on their previous statement that rates will likely remain appropriate for a period of time. Now, looking at the pound, uh, cable rebounded yesterday from a 152.70 strong support level it hit following the, the CPI data. The support at 153.40 has held so far this morning. We see resistance at 154.10 near the upper, upper Bollinger Band with very strong support at 152.70, which also sees trend line support. This is Marshall Gittler, head of Global FX Strategy at IFX, wishing you solid trading.